What's up, Mavericks? This is Erica Seppala, writer and editor over here at Merchant Maverick. If you use QuickBooks Online or any other accounting software, you probably already know about reconciling your accounts. But if not, it basically means that you go through your QuickBooks Online transactions, compare them to your bank or credit card statements, make sure there are no missing transactions or any kind of discrepancies that mess up your books. But what happens if you reconcile your account, find out later that you've made an error? Don't worry, you can undo a reconciliation and get your books back on track. Process is pretty quick, it's easy, and we'll run through it right now. So before we get started, I'd just like to remind everyone, if you don't already know, QuickBooks Online offers a test drive. It's free, you don't have to sign up for it, and you can get started in minutes with a sample company anytime you want to mess around with anything like this experiment i recommend using the test drive so you're not messing with your own data and that's what we're using today so we're on the main dashboard and we're going to go over here to the side menu and we're going to go to transactions we're going to click on reconcile now i already started this process i'm not going to go through this you probably already know how to do this if not just drop us a comment and let us know and maybe we can do a walkthrough on how to do an account reconciliation but for now we're just going to resume reconciling our counts and as you can see up here in this top right corner there is a zero dollar difference I already went through made sure everything matched and so we're going to go right here in the top right corner to finish now and it lets us know that we have reconciled this account we can see a report but otherwise we're done but what if we go through all of that and we see that we're not done that we made an error and we need to go back in and we need to correct something so what we're going to do is it brings us to this menu and up here at the top over beside reconcile we have chart of accounts we're going to click right there now we reconciled our checking account so right here is our checking account we're going to click over here to view register now what we're going to focus on and let me click out of that that explains about the register um, so if you're very new to all of this you might want to read through that but what we're going to focus on is over here on the far right column we have balance right beside that to the left we have this column that has a check and then has this little box that indicates whether a transaction was added or matched in the account's bank feed. So what we're gonna be looking at are these letters or a lack of a letter. But C right here means that it's cleared. It's tentatively reconciled. What we really wanna focus on are these R's. This means that it was reconciled, it was verified against our bank records as of a given date. So in the last reconciliation that I just ran, all of these transactions marked R were included. So let's say that this uncategorized expense right here is incorrect. We're gonna simply click right here on this R, we're going to click again on the R and you can see right there that that clears it out. Now, if you continue to click, it'll go to the C, which as we saw earlier stands for cleared. And then it takes us back to R for reconciled. But what we're going to do is we're going to simply set it to where there's no letter here. And then we're going to click save. So we're going to get this pop up that says this transaction was downloaded from your bank's records. Are you sure you want to edit it? We're going to click yes says the transaction you are editing has been reconciled saving your changes could put you out of balance the next time you try to reconcile are you sure you want to modify it so at this point you need to determine do i want to do this is this transaction actually incorrect is it correct don't just go through here clicking clearing everything out without giving it some thought so Let's just assume that this is the incorrect transaction we're looking for, and we are going to click yes right here. And as you can see, the transaction was saved, that uncategorized expense, it is now cleared out. Now, you do have to go through each transaction individually. So in order to go through and completely undo a reconciliation, so I'm just going to scroll through so you can see all of these reconciled transactions. I would have to go through each one of these manually. If you do want to go through and undo the reconciliation with all of these transactions, you'll have to use QuickBooks Online Accountant. So if you have an accountant that's on your QuickBooks account, just let them know what's going on. They can undo everything for you. Now, there is a way that you can also go in and add yourself as an accountant, 
log in through that way and then go in and undo everything. But that's not something that I recommend. Um, if you have significant errors that would require you to go through multiple transactions, I'd recommend having an accountant help you fix everything unless you have experience and know what you're doing. Um, under QuickBooks Online Accountant, it's really just as easy as going to the client's account, finding the reconciliation, and then clicking undo. But again, I just recommend checking your balances and going through everything line by line. Find your errors and avoid messing your books up even more. So that's everything. I hope you found this helpful. And just remember that if things get overcomplicated, we always recommend talking to an accountant to get your books balanced and keep them there. Let us know in the comments if you have any questions about reconciling accounts or any other issues you're having with QuickBooks that you'd like us to walk through. Thanks for tuning in and we'll see you next time.